Greetings fellow travelers, T5 the Traveler here with Becky the Trekkie. It's time for another food review. We're here in uh, beautiful Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, right in the Smokies. Uh, this is Frizzle Chicken Farmhouse Cafe. They're famous for their chicken and waffles. It's just next to the Comedy Barn on the main drag. So if you look for the big red barn, it's right here in the middle. Uh, parking's gonna be in the back, so just follow the parking sign. You can park in the back and then walk around front. Uh, we've never been here before, so we don't know what to expect. We'll show you the menu, show you what the interior looks like. Hopefully we get a good meal and then stick with us afterwards for the review. We'll let you know uh, what we think of the restaurant. Okay, in we go. Okay, in we go. Frizzled chicken and waffles. Pigeon Forge, we'll see, uh, see what it looks like. It looks like we've got some good cover songs going here. It's Easter Sunday, so it's probably gonna be very packed. And this is definitely a cover of Bohemian Rhapsody, which may get us a copyright claim, so we'll have to pick back up. Hello. There are two of us. We're on about 20 minute wait for two probably. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we made it into Frizzles and we'll take a look at the menu here. Hopefully we can see it. Looks like they've got uh, breakfast choice of one $8.99 on pancakes. Uh, Belgian waffles, classic biscuits and gravy if you want the whole breakfast. It's got a uh, choice of one of the above, served with two eggs, cooked to order home fries, choice of bacon, $13.99. I might do that unless uh, if you want an omelet, they're $13.99. They got avocado toast, they got breakfast tacos, all in that $13 range. Uh, lunch, it looks like they've got hamburgers, chopped ham sandwich, BLT, chuck wagon steak, grilled cheese, and the kids menu. The beverages are in the $3 to $5 range. They've got t-shirts available and uh, really it's nicely themed uh, we've been seeing that these uh, are animatronic characters and they do a little bit of a show so uh, we'll show you what the uh, the plate looks like I'll try to do a little walk around show you what the, the uh, store looks like so if you want to get a t-shirt here or something and then when these uh, shows pop up I might get out of the seat and we'll just try to film a little bit we heard Star Wars earlier yeah actually and, over uh, there Bohemian <laughs> Solo huh? oh it's what is it Pen Solo. Solo okay so so they have themed characters, Princess Lear, so that must be the Star Wars section. And yeah, we'll do a little, <laughs> we'll check it out, uh, and we'll, we'll see what the food's like. So we'll uh, join us for the for the food review, and uh, here at Frizzles in uh, Pigeon Forge. Perfect timing. Thank you so much. I think I think we're okay for right now. That coffee's very hot, so we'll have to let that cool so we can drink it. So, all right. Thanks so much. So we're here, Frizzle Chicken Farmhouse Cafe, and Becky went with the ever famous uh, chicken and waffles. Uh, I can hear the copyright claims for the YMCA above us, but even though they're chickens uh, singing, so, we'll, so YMCA has concluded. Uh, let's take a look at the world famous chicken and waffles. So it looks like a Belgian style waffle. It's got a little bit of powdered sugar right on top of the chicken. Is that bone-in chicken or are they chicken strips? You think it looks like strips it looks to like me? It could be strips, yeah. Okay, I got the uh, all-in breakfast. I guess I didn't pay attention to the potato selection because this is usually not my pick, but we'll give it a go. Uh, eggs, I didn't know. I forgot we didn't get toast. I normally put the, the runny eggs on the toast, but that's all right. We'll give it a try. So I just got the bacon. I'm kind of regretting not getting that plate, but I did get the pancakes. <laughs> So uh, we'll see how the pancakes go. Maybe we'll uh, split a waffle bite in a in a pancake bite or something like that. And uh, let's just dive in and, and give it a try. Okay. So what are you gonna go for first? I'm gonna move those pancakes over here to the side. And you're going in for the chicken. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna grab a little ketchup. Can you throw me the ketchup? Yep. Perfect. 
Heinz tomato ketchup. I use that. I have a Heinz tomato uh, ketchup t-shirt. It's very popular. Everybody seems to like that. So <laughs> just throw that on there. You know what? I think I'm going to put some syrup on it. Are you going for the syrup? Okay. Yeah. You can do the syrup. Maybe I'll doctor the pancake. Yeah, I'll while, do a little while you pour the, pour the syrup on there. Oh. Out you just want it on the one section? Uh, for now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to work my way around the plate. Thank you. Your syrup's blocking your plate. There we go. Put that out of the way. <laughs> Butter. Yeah, these are, yeah, chicken strips. Chicken strips? Looks hold, really good. Hold though. it up there so they can see uh, how thick it is. The chicken strips? Yeah, yeah, we'd like to show everybody the food as we go. Well, here's a one. Just kind of dash it right in there with the camera. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so that's the pancake, it's nice and fluffy. See what I mean? I kind of just like hold it up and make really get a good look, get a good look. I'm a little further away now. Try the pancake. Looks good. Oh wow. The chicken scrub? I probably should have went with the chicken waffles, but I thought we'd get a little variety to show everybody. It looks good though. This is very good. So the pancake's good. It's real fluffy. I'm going to have to do more syrup, I think, and more butter. It's really thick, and uh, it's actually really good. You know what? The chicken's got almost like a little spice at the end. It's a spicy Not chicken? Spice. You want to cut me a little bite? I'll give it a quick try. I'll come back to those pancakes. Here we go. Yeah, where of it? Where of it? Right there is great. Okay, so that is that chicken right there. It's all white meat. It looks like chicken breast. It's breaded. And is it fried? Is it fried chicken? I'm assuming that it is. Yeah. And I'm going to give it a try. Give it a try. Thank you. It's juicy. It's very good. It's almost got like a, a peanut oil. Like a Chinese uh, chicken flavor to it. Maybe a slight. I think it's slight. peanut oil that they're using there, so it's like a peanut oil mm -hmm. uh, chicken. If you got a peanut allergy, you may ask them that on your way in uh, before you get into that. Uh, really, it's good. It is. I really like Very the chicken. Good. Okay. And I'm gonna go in for uh, the waffle. Give it a waffle bite. We'll try the potatoes. These just look like American fries. I don't know if they're out of the bag or they make them here. I'm saying probably out of the bag for this. Wow. The waffle's good. Crispy. The waffle is good? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll trade back. I'll do a bite of waffle and I'll get you a bite of pancake. You can try the pancake. Yeah. I'll get a bite of... It's a good bite of pancake right there. Slide that out of the way. You just cut me a little sliver. A little sliver. No matter what it looks like, throw it right on the corner here. Uh -huh. Sure, whatever. Just that whole thing. Whatever, whatever you know. Oh, that's a. That was a piece. That's a, quite a cut there. <laughs> Not my best. I'm gonna do a drizzle of that syrup. These are always fun. I like a good food review. Let's try this pancake. And you know what? I'll just go in for the full bite. You got a, you got a big bite there. So that's going to be the waffle right there. Belgian. It's good. You need the syrup on the waffle. Yeah. But it's a good waffle. Pancake's good, chicken's good. It's kind of a meaty waffle, really. Now, I've actually been to Belgium and Brussels in Belgium on the street by far has the best waffles that you will uh, that you can find anywhere in the 
on the planet. You just get them right there. They make them fresh. They throw them out in a little window. You just kind of walk up to the walk up to the window and get it. So if you're in Belgium, definitely get the waffle. I also found that in Paris, uh, they have the best croissants. So if you want a good croissant, get them in France. Good waffle, Belgium. Okay, so I'm gonna go in for the eggs. I told them over medium. These are over medium eggs. So this is what they call an over medium egg here. So if you like your eggs a little more done, I would say just do them over hard uh, at this location. If I had toast, no problem. But this is gonna be a, a little bit of a runny bite. So maybe use the pan. Um, I, I would have ordered differently had I known. So keep this in mind if you come in here. I'll try not to make a huge mess trying to take a bite of this egg. Give it a second there. Mm, they're good. The egg's good. It's, it, it's nicely done. I, I would just call this uh, over easy. I wouldn't call I wouldn't call that over hard or over medium. Okay, I'm just down to the bacon. Got to do a bacon bite. There's. I think I'm just gonna pick it up. I got that much egg everywhere. Oh boy, knocking one on the table there. Trying not to make a mess. That is the bacon. Looks like, we'll see if it's hickory or if it's smoked or anything like that. We'll do one more bite. That's good. You want to try the bacon? I guess I'll do a little slice. There, there's a little piece. A little piece? A little piece. I only got two strips. Everything's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's good. I don't know if it's hickory. It's kind of smoked bacon. Something like that. Do one more bite of potato. Pretty good. All in all. Very good. So, now that I've tasted everything from the pancakes to the waffle to the chicken, I'm going to say the chicken's probably at the top of the list. Uh, these potatoes, probably skip those next time. They're just kind of out of, like, out of the bag for like, like homemade stuff. Uh, if we're eating out, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, the eggs, order them, done. If you want them done, definitely do that. The uh, bacon was great. The waffle was good. I thought my pancake was really good. So, but all in all, I think this place is really more for like the ambience. See, it's like, it's right here next down to the Comedy Barn, right here in the Bain Drag and Pigeon Forge. You can kind of walk up and down around here. There's lots to do. The Alcatraz Museum's just down here. The island is just over here. Uh, to the right of us, and we're going to go, uh, we'll take a few through that for a, a tour of the island, we'll show you where the food and the shopping is there. We noticed they had a lot of music playing, so we'll have to probably cut that in and out. Uh, you can you can have like 15 seconds of music out there and the copyrights just take take the whole video from you, or you can publish it, so, uh, so we're always aware of that in the field. but. Uh, let us know in the comments if you like these food reviews or if you prefer the buffets, that sort of thing. The uh, coffee here was $2.99. We both just got two coffees and two waters. Uh, we'll let you know the full price uh, with tip and everything once we get back outside. And uh, join us for that. We'll show you what the uh, what the gift shop looks like, what some of the pricing on the t-shirts if you want to get that. We'll do that, but we're going to go ahead and finish this up and we'll see you over there. Okay, let's take a quick peek of the t-shirts up here. It looks like Genuine Bad Egg. This is me on a good day. Uh, they've got the different characters out here. They're in the $16.99 to $21 range. Uh, they've got several choices to choose from. They do have some signature mugs down there. The chicks down here are in the uh, uh, $12 to $10 range, depending on they are. The farmhouse drinking glasses looks like buy three, get one free. They're $7.99 a piece all right all right everybody i am stuffed oh, stuffed stuffed that too. was a good meal uh really i probably should have went with the chicken and waffles i think have we not been filming i think i would have just because that's the thing to get here it seems like and i kind of was thinking that but uh becky said she was going to get it which surprised me i didn't know if she was going to go for chicken but she did so uh, i went I, yeah i went for the big breakfast but it was good i mean i'm full it was really a pan it was three pan giant plate of pancakes and then uh the extra sides were really like the bacon and bacon and potatoes and and all that good stuff uh had a nice meal here what'd you think uh all in all i would definitely definitely check this place out get the chicken and waffles for sure um, this was actually my first time ordering chicken and waffles intentionally. <laughs> um, but yeah, really happy that I did. It was uh, So you ordered good. chicken and waffles unintentionally before? 
Well, I mean, just like at buffets, I guess, you know, if you oh. need a piece of chicken, they had maybe waffles there when it oh, was like Oh, you mean like it's its own meal? Right. Okay. So. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I should have elaborated a All little right. bit well, more. All right, well, I was confused. But, um, definitely good. Sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, all in all, had a great meal here uh, in uh, Pigeon Forge. I got a car right behind me. I'm going to let them go. But uh, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for ambience. The the animatronics in there are great. The kids <laughs> yes. just go crazy uh, in there. That back section around, they had even a bigger uh, animatronics area. So make sure you walk to the back if they sit you up front and check that out, the shows. Uh, we're recommending the chicken and waffles here. Mm -hmm. It's The parking's not bad. It was like $13.99. I think it was 37 22 uh, for two before tip. The, the meals were $13.99. The coffees were $2.99. Then they have two different types of tax I'm noticing. There was like 34 cents must be for one kind of tax and then like $3 and something for another type of tax so you're looking at about maybe just figure 11 percent tax 20 percent tip and uh that'll get you there uh pretty much there if you want to tip a little extra you can uh we usually do but uh it just depends on the service and we had good service in there that time so uh big thank you to uh, all our loyal subscribers fellow travelers if you like us leave us a like uh if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so uh, and join us on our adventures there'll be lots more uh to come out soon we're going over uh like we said in the video over to the island next and we'll see all our fellow travelers on the next one. Bye, everybody.